first thing you want to do is you uh, want to push patient. So patient is on the, the, the right side over here. When you push patient, so this is to, to end uh, or have a new patient on this uh, left side. And here you're going to put the patient's last name and then you push tab first, their ID number here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your first initial and last name over here. So V-D-I-N-H over there. And you can also pick the application that you want here. So let's go ahead and go to cardiac. You push done and that'll take you out of the screen. So you can start scanning. If you need to change probes, you can push the, there's buttons right here that correlate. So right now when I push that, this changed over to the linear probe. So whatever probe is connected to that button is what it's gonna change to. Okay. So when you're scanning for the M turbo, um, here's your gain. So here's your near field gain. So when you push it, these little knobs pop out, okay? So here is your near field gain, all right? So that's your top half of the screen. Here is your far field gain, okay? This is a, the bottom half of the screen, and this is your overall gain, this is your total gain. There's another function here called auto gain that the Sonosite has. What I would do is probably when I first start scanning, push auto gain, and then from there you can start changing the, the gain uh, based off of uh, where it starts at. Here's your different modes. So normal is 2D mode, okay? So that's what you're gonna be at. If you want to use M mode, this is your M mode, and this is your color over here. So if I push M mode, you have to push it twice though. The first one is to line up your, your, um, your cursor, and then afterwards when you push M mode again, that's when it actually activates M mode. If you want to go off of it, push 2D and it'll go back to the 2D mode. Basically anything with a green top would work for cleaning probes. Patients, so just look for a green top, either hydrogen peroxide or there's other disinfectants also. Do not use alcohol when cleaning the probes. So you're gonna clean the, the footprint of the probe, the actual probe itself, okay? And you're gonna clean the whole wire all the way to the base. And then make sure you also clean the um, keyboard also and any buttons that you put you push. So unplug the actual uh, machine from the outlet. Um, make sure you, you, you clean the cable there also because that's touching the floor um, and can be pretty dirty. If you want to measure something, there's a caliper button on the left side. You push caliper and you just measure from one point. You push select and you can change the caliper on the other side. And the measurement comes on the bottom left hand side of the screen. If you want to save an image, um, you can push freeze and you can save the image here. The saving will save one image, just a still image, okay? Clip will save a video. So right now we've set it to about four seconds. So if you push clip, you just wait, it'll, and you hear a beep. So when you hear that beep, that means the clip is done saving, All right? If you want to comment, there's a text button on the bottom left side of the screen. So you push text and the cursor comes here and you can drag where you want the comment to start. So let's say you're doing a fast scan, you this is the right upper quadrant, you can put R-U-K, Q, or you can put Morrison's, you can put M Morrison's, Okay, and then save your, your desired image there. And make sure you always put an interpretation at the end. So if it's a negative fast scan, just put negative fast and go ahead and save and that will count as your interpretation of the scan.